There are two undefeated teams remaining in West Region softball, Minot High and Dickinson. We won't get a tie, so something has to give tonight at the South Hill Complex in Minot. Ava John are the starting pitcher for Dickinson. She's one of the best in the state as a junior. Minot put runners on second and third, but Johnner beats the batter with speed. Midgets lead 1-0 after the third. No runs crossed for Dickinson, so Minot goes back up at the plate and a high pop up to left. Jenna Decker, the shortstop, tracks it to end the inning and keep the one run lead. Kirsten Galloway cooled the Midgets bats down. Eight strikeouts for her this afternoon. The Midgets finally cracked the lead in the bottom of the fifth inning. Two runners on and Kinsey Field hammers a rise ball the deep center. Two runs score, Minot takes the lead. Sierra Erickson kept up the rally with two outs. Out to right center for two more runs to score. Undefeated no more. Minot takes lone possession of number one in the region, plus the sweep the Magi play at Century on Friday. More games in the bubble. DLBLC and Glenburn meet again. Top of the first, two runs cross for the Lakers. Glenburn's Valerie Stevens gets a called strike three to stop the damage. Panthers put up a run in the home half and get two runners on base. Ava Stevens hits out to right field. Emma Jones and Deanna Hines score. Glenburn takes the lead and DLB took over. Sierra Yale hit a leadoff triple and Tegan Anderson brought her home on a single. Then Maya Nesham hits Tegan home on an RBI triple. The DLBLC Lakers are still undefeated. Bishop Ryan baseball has continued to dominate. Region 6. They've played all of their games at Corbett Field, whether they're the home team or not. They always get the home field advantage. First game of the year for Garrison. Ryan won the first one. In the second, Lions designated hitter Drew Zwack does his job with a base hit to score. Carson Merck ties the game at one run apiece. Home half with runners on first and second. Cooper Cobble freezes the batter, keeps the game even at one. Now in the third inning, Parker Byers swings on one out to deep center field. It finally drops, brings home Max Sheen and Jace Schwan on a triple. The Lions take the sweep. They play South Prairie Max on Thursday. Troopers play at Surrey that day too. Monop Baseball in Wilston today. They won the first game. In the second inning of the second game, Kellen Burke base hit off Caden Fingers. Runs scores to make it three zip Minot. Then Parker Han singles with the bases loaded and the infield drawn in. One run scores, two run scores to make it five zip Minot. Eli Nissen gets the win in game one. Tyler Buchanan the win in game two. It was called early due to darkness. <laughs> Twins playing the Yankees again in mini tonight. Tie game in the sixth inning. Byron Buxton says not anymore. Bat flips into a home run to left. Takes a two run lead. Same inning, Trevor Larnick, deep right center field. Oh boy, this one bounces out of play. That's another homer. 6-2 Minnesota. The Twins clinched the season series against the Yanks for the first time since 2001. Another battle of undefeateds tonight. This one in girls soccer. Neither Minot High nor Mandan has lost the game so far this season. They met tonight in Mandan, not even two minutes into the game. First opportunity would come for the Braves. Madison Hertz plays a great ball in behind for Paige Weiss. Her shot tamed by Kinsley Gilmore and net for Minot. 15 minutes through, Sarah Heldrop picks it up on the left side with white shirts all around her. She'll blow past her defender, tucks it away into the side netting. Freshman gives Mandan a 1-0 lead. Emerson Perrin now standing over a free kick. Perrin puts her laces through the ball, soars into the back of the net. Beautiful free kick goal sees Minot level it at one apiece. A 2-2 draw ends Minot's legendary win streak at 38 straight games without a loss or tie. They play at Williston on Friday. Time for trivia. I know we've had some hard ones lately, so here's an easier one. The Hot Tots start their inaugural season in one month. What league will they play in? Well, they're celebrating their 30th season as a league this summer. Three-time Cy Young winner Max Scherzer played for the Lacrosse Loggers in this league. And it's the same league that the Bismarck Larks currently play in. That'll be good.